So what is debt consolidation? Debt consolidation just means turning a bunch of debts into one giant debt. This gives you a lower interest rate, lower monthly payment, and a simplified payment plan. But here's the problem. You actually end up paying more and staying in debt longer with these types of loans. Because in almost every case, the terms get extended, which does mean a smaller payment, but it goes on forever, like the universe or Grey's Anatomy. What season are they on, 42? Oh, 15, close enough. Now I'm debt free, but Let's say in an alternate universe, I have $30,000 in debt. Okay, track with me on these numbers. I have a $10,000 loan at 12% interest with a two-year term and a $20,000 loan at 10% interest with a four-year term. My monthly payment on that first loan is 5017 Hang on, I messed something up. $517. And my payment on the second loan is $583. That's a total payment of $1,100 a month. Now, let's say I'm on Facebook checking out the latest memes and I see an ad for a debt consolidation company. They're promising to lower my payment to just $640 per month with a 9% interest rate. If you're doing the math at home, that's $460 less per month and a lower interest rate. Well, color me intrigued. But alas, as the great philosopher Brett Michaels once sagely articulated, every rose has its thorn. It will now take me six years to pay this off. Six years. Turns out Smash Mouth was wrong. All that glitters is not in fact gold. Although that album did glitter and went gold. In fact, it went platinum, which by the standards set by the Recording Industry Association of America is technically better than gold. All that to say, I'll end up shelling out over $46,000 to pay off the new loan versus about $40,000 to pay off the original loans, which means my lower payment cost me an extra $5,600 and took an extra two years to pay off. I've got two words for that. Rip off. No. God. Just no. No. This conversation always comes back to interest rate. You see, the rate that comes with a debt consolidation loan is usually set by the lender, and it depends on your credit score, which we talked about in our last video. My point is, the interest rate isn't even the problem. Most of the time, after someone consolidates their debt, it grows back faster than Tim Allen's beard in the Santa Claus. It's not about math, it's about mindset. Dave Ramsey says personal finance is 80% behavior, but only 20% head knowledge. So even though your choices landed you in a big steaming pile of debt, you can work your way out. You just need to see debt differently and get on a plan. My favorite plan is the debt snowball. Dave walks you through it at Financial Peace University, a nine lesson course that's helped millions of people get out of debt. You can check it out at fpu.com. Here's the bottom line. A better interest rate or lower payment will treat the symptoms, but the debt snowball fixes the problem. And now you know.